Kathy Richards here with the Montgomery County Department of Recreation Seniors Team with some stretching for 55 plus programs that is comfortable to do on the floor. Um, so you, in order to do these stretches, you would come to a comfortable seated position on a mat on the floor. And we are gonna start with lying back and pulling your knees into your chest. This is a nice lower back stretch. So when you lie here, just holding your knees to your chest for, you can stay here for 10 seconds or up to 30 seconds or 60 seconds. This is really great if you have lower back pain, if your lower back feels tight, just to lie in this position when you're on the floor. Some people hold on top of their knees. I prefer to hold underneath it. Pro provides a little bit less pressure on the ligaments of your knee joints. So we'll drop one foot and let the other leg extend up and just pull in gently. So you notice I still have a slight bend in my knee and you're just kind of holding in to the point that it's comfortable. I'm gonna do some slow foot circles around. Great. And then pull that a little closer in, feeling it right through your hamstring through here. Nice and gentle. Great, let's release that, we'll switch. Other leg comes up, and again, pulling that one in. Those slow foot circles around. Nice. Just holding it in, to the, just to the position that feels like some light tension. Nice. Releasing that one down. This time we're gonna take a foot up on the opposite knee, press that knee back, and lift up. Great. Just holding this here. Very nice. This is a stretch for your hip, right through your hip. And let's release that one down. Do the other leg up, foot's on the opposite knee, you press it back, and then we lift up, holding this here. Great. And when you release that one down, this is just a nice torso twist stretch exercise. Your arms come out and you're just gonna let your hips come your knees come to one side and then when if whatever side your knees are, are at just kind of twist your head and neck and look to the other side nice just kind of rest here and then we'll slowly bring your knees up and go to the other side and then you look the opposite way good And let's come on up, bring your knees into your chest, and you can either rock yourself up to a sitting position, or if that's not comfortable when you're lying on, on your back, then you can just roll yourself onto your side and then kind of push yourself up to a seated position. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to be seated with our legs straight out in front of us. And you're gonna let your knees pop up just a bit arms come up really high kind of reach up and you fold forward wherever your hands can come to you just kind of settle in i just like to scooch a little bit sometimes but just bend your elbows so you're kind of holding this in nice 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 stretch in the forward position feeling it right under here going to inch our heels out just a bit sometimes and then i like to come back up and repeat it where you come all the way up and again, you come down and drop those elbows. Nice. Trying to keep our back mostly straight. You don't want it to be like this. You kind of want to straighten that back, drop the elbows when you're coming forward. Nice. Let's come back up. Next, we're going to do an inner thigh stretch. So when you're seated, your feet are going to be together. Now for the first try, they don't have to be really close to you. They can be kind of far out. And then I like to start with your hands behind you and then just kind of 
Scoot your hands in close to your body and lift up through your rib cage. Nice. Then let's go ahead and move the hands into the front on your ankles. And now you can try to move your feet in a little closer if you can. But once again, you don't want to kind of let yourself round into it here. You want to lift up, push your, your shoulder blades together and your chest out. If you can get those elbows on your thighs and push those down a little bit, that's great too. So lifting up and leaning forward. Very nice. Good. Just holding that stretch. Nice deep breaths. Now when we release that, we're going to extend one leg out and hold the one leg in. So when you're here, just kind of find that comfortable position. For starters, we're going to be still facing center. And then I want you to take this elbow where the straight leg is, kind of reach it down to get close to hooking into that leg. This other arm is going to come up and come over just a bit. Really trying to open up through that rib cage. Some deep breaths. Good. When we release that down, we're going to take our whole torso and turn towards that leg and drop the elbows. Nice. When we come up, let's go ahead and switch. We're going to bring the other leg in. So once again, kind of get yourself in this comfortable position with one leg out, one leg bent in, in whatever position is comfortable. This elbow is going to come towards this knee. Other arm comes up. We're going to lift up so that's up, open to that rib cage and coming over. Good. And we're going to come back, turn your whole torso towards that leg, come down and drop those elbows. Very nice. And let's come back up. We're going to come on all fours. And when you're here, you're going to be on your hands and knees. And then we're going to do what's called a cat cow, where when you round your back up, it's like a cat back. And then when you let your Lower back sink down, down, down. That's like a cow. And let's reverse that up here. So once again, we have this is the cat. And then round down for the cow. Good. Up again for the cat. One more time down for the cow. Now we're going to come up and take a big step forward and we're going to sink down. So when we're here, we have our hip sinking into the stretch and our hands are kind of close to the front leg here. Very nice. And then we shift our weight back. So we're switching this hamstring again. And we'll go ahead and switch. So this is going to be the opposite leg comes up. And once we're here in this position, we shift our weight forward with our front knee right over our ankle. You're going to want this knee to be jutting out past it. So you need a lot of distance between your front leg and your back leg. So you're sinking into the stretch. This back hip is sinking down. Then we're going to shift our weight back. Nice. So again, when we're leaning forward, you feel that right through your hamstring. And let's go ahead and bring this leg back again. When you come down to your stomach, this is going to be an abdominal stretch. So. We start off with just being here where you're on your forearms. That's enough, can be enough of a stretch. If you'd like a deeper stretch, then you come down and your arms are all the way straight, but then you gradually bring them in and in, in. 
So you're coming up a little higher for your abdominal stretch here. Nice. And coming back down. Let's come back up to all fours. And then once we're here, let's bring our knees quite wide, but then our big toes come together and we shift back. So when you shift back into this position, let your hands come forward. Nice. Let's come back up and back to a seated position. And once we're here, just nice deep breath in and back out. And that is a nice short seated stretching routine that can be done on the floor. Hope you enjoyed that.